Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss motion in a plane, topic vectors for NEET and JE exam. This is the part 2 video. Please see the part 1 and come to part 2. Okay. This is the type 4 problem. Two forces each equal to F by 2 and right angles, their effect may be neutralized by the third force acting along their bisector in the opposite direction with the magnitude of that means two forces are acting right angle okay so i can write like this this so one force and this is the other force this magnitude is f by 2 and this magnitude is f by 2 okay this is the angle between them okay their effect may be neutralized by a third force acting along their bisector okay in the opposite direction that means what is these two forces effect that you can find out by vector addition rule here i am going to apply the parallelogram law of vector addition so this and this i'm going to draw so this is a parallel so the resultant is a diagram this is the result this i am taking as f dash okay then what they told this effect is neutralized by the third force acting along their bisector in the opposite direction. That means in this bisector in the opposite direction, the third force like this. This is the F3. Okay. Then if this effect is this effect can neutralize by this F3, these two have same magnitude. So F3 magnitude is equal to f dash vector magnitude okay then how you can find out the f dash vector magnitude f dash vector magnitude is the resultant of these two so based on the vector algebra the magnitude of the resultant is equal to f by 2 divided by 4 plus f f by sorry f square by 4 plus 2 into f by 2 into f by 2 into cos theta. Theta is angle between these two vectors that is 90 degree. Okay. So this entire plane becomes 0. So what is that? Here you will get as 2f square by 4. Okay. 2f square by 4. So from this you get it as f by 2 root. This 2 and 2 you can cancel. Then you can get it as f by root okay so what about the magnitude of the f3 now the magnitude of the f3 is equal to f by root okay this is about the type 4 problem now we will see type 5 problem okay then the problem is like this modulus of a vector plus b vector is equal to modulus of a vector plus modulus of b vector then what is the angle between a and b okay if modulus of a vector plus b vector is equal to modulus of a plus modulus of b then what is the angle between them okay so based on the vector algebra the magnitude of the resultant here i am taking the magnitude of a vector plus b vector so this a plus b is equal to what you get that is equal to square root of first vector square that is a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos theta okay i am consider theta is equal to 0 so what you get this is equal to a square plus b square plus 2a this i can write it as square root of a plus b also that is equal to a plus b that is equal to a plus b okay so now i can write it as modulus of a vector plus b vector is equal to modulus of a vector plus modulus of b vector okay so if theta is e is 0 the condition is satisfied so the angle between them is 0 degree okay this is about the type 5
Now type 6. The sum of the magnitude of two forces acting at a point is 18 Newton and the magnitude of their resultant is 12 Newton. If the resultant makes an angle 90 degree with the force of the smaller magnitude, what are the magnitude of the two force? Okay. So they given that sum of the magnitude of the two forces acting at a point is 18 Newton. So I consider A and B are the two forces acting at a point makes an angle theta. Okay. So I consider the two vectors A and B. Okay. So their sum of their magnitude that is A plus B is equal to 18 and magnitude of the resultant. Magnitude of the resultant means their vector addition magnitude that is modulus of A plus modulus of B is equal to tau. Okay. Then if the resultant is make an angle 90 degree with the smaller force. So, this is a B force and this is a A force. Okay. Then, I consider the magnitude of the A is lesser than the magnitude of B. Okay. Then, so what they have given? The smaller force is make an angle 90 degree with the result. So, this is the parallelogram. The diagram is a result. Okay. This R is a A plus B. Okay. This angle is beta. This angle is angle made by the result under the A vector. A is the smaller magnitude. Okay. Then they given this angle is beta is equal to 90 degree. That means tan beta if you take it as tan beta you will get plus 0 you will get. Sorry. Tan beta is equal to infinity you will get. Okay. If tan beta you have to get infinity. That is tan 90 is infinity. So what about the tan beta formula from the vector addition. From the vector addition tan beta is equal to b sin theta divided by a plus b cos theta. If this is infinity what about this value? This value should be 0. So, a plus b cos theta is equal to 0. So, what about uh, b cos theta? b cos theta is equal to minus. Okay. This is the one result. Okay. From this, what is b? b is equal to 18 minus a. Okay. This is another one. This I am taking as 1. This I am taking as 2 this resultant. What about the magnitude of the resultant? That you can find out by a formula. That means what is the first equation? That is b cos theta is equal to minus. Okay. This is the equation number 1. Okay. Then the magnitude of the resultant is equal to square root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. Theta is the angle between two vectors. Okay. Then I am squaring on both sides. What about this magnitude? They have given us this magnitude is, is 18. Okay. I am squaring on both sides. Then what you will get? Sorry. Magnitude is 12. Then I am squaring on both sides. So what you will get? That is 144 you here a square plus b square plus 2 into a b cos theta. Okay. What about b value? b value is 18 minus a. Here b square all square. Into 2 into a into. What about b cos theta? That is minus. Okay. So a square plus this I am going to expand based on the a minus b all square. So 18 square. 18 square is 324 minus sorry plus a square minus 2 into 18a that is 36a minus 2a a square 2a square here a square here minus 2a square so minus a square is there that minus a square cancel with this so 144 is equal to 324 minus 36a okay this 36a comes to this side so 36a is equal to this 124 
sorry 144 goes to that side so 324 minus 144 you get that is how much this is, this is 190 okay so a is equal to how much you are getting 190 divided by 36 180 divided by 36 is you are getting 5 okay this is a magnitude of the a so now you are getting the magnitude of a is 5 okay then we need to find out the magnitude of b what about the magnitude of b magnitude of the b from this you can find out that is 18 minus 5 18 minus 5 that is 13 so this is about the the magnitude of two vector okay this is the type 6 now we will see type 7 maximum and minimum magnitude of the resultant of two vectors of magnitude p and q are in the ratio 3 is to 1 which of the following relation is true a p is equal to q b p is equal to 2q c p q is equal to 1 and d p q is equal to 3 what are given maximum and minimum magnitude ratio if two vectors are p and q that is this is the p and q and their maximum magnitude means that is p plus q and what about the minimum magnitude minimum means the difference p minus q that ratio they given us 3 is to 1 okay that is p plus q divided by p minus 3 is 3 by 1 so this you take into the set so p plus q is equal to 3 into p minus q that is 3p minus 3q is equal to p plus q this minus p take it to sorry this 3p take it to the set so p minus 3p is equal to minus 3q minus q okay this is minus 2p you will get here minus 4q you will get minus minus yes so 2p is equal to 4q so the, so p is equal to 2q okay so which one is the correct option b is the correct option okay this is about the type 7 thank you for watching the video please subscribe my channel if you like this video please put like